it's time for another ultrasound physics review. Let's discuss ultrasound velocity error artifacts. In ultrasound, artifacts are echoes or reflections that do not correspond to actual structures, or echoes that are missing from an image, or echoes that are in the wrong location on an image, or echoes displaying the wrong characteristics, such as incorrect size, shape, or brightness. Ultrasound artifacts occur because the ultrasound machine makes certain assumptions about sound waves. When one or more of these assumptions fails to occur, you get an ultrasound artifact. The first assumption that an ultrasound machine makes is that sound travels in a straight line. Assumption number two, sound travels into the tissue, encounters a structure, and travels directly back to the transducer. Assumption three, sound travels at a constant speed in soft tissue, 1540 meters per second. Assumption four, echoes arise only from structures within the main ultrasound beam. Assumption five, the imaging plane is thin. Assumption six, the amount of time it takes an echo to return to the transducer determines the depth of a structure in the body. And assumption seven, sound attenuates at an even rate in the tissue. When any of these assumptions fails to occur, an ultrasound artifact is formed. Today, we're gonna to talk about velocity error artifacts. There are five categories of artifacts. Ultrasound beam artifacts, multiple echo artifacts, velocity error artifacts, attenuation artifacts, and Doppler artifacts. In ultrasound, velocity error artifacts are based on the premise that sound always travels in a straight line and always travels at a constant speed in soft tissue, which is 1540 meters per second. In reality, sound may travel slower or faster than 1540 meters per second depending on the tissue type it's in. Sound doesn't always travel in a straight line. The sound may be refracted or may approach a boundary at an oblique incidence. Echoes can be placed deeper or shallower on an image if the propagation speed is greater or less than 1540 meters per second. Types of velocity error artifacts include propagation speed artifact, refraction, and edge shadowing. Speed of sound artifact, also known as propagation speed artifact, occurs when the ultrasound machine assumes that the speed of sound in soft tissue is always 1540 meters per second. When sound travels through a medium with a propagation speed that is slower than 1540 meters per second, it takes longer for the echoes to return to the transducer than the ultrasound machine is expecting. This causes echoes to be placed deeper on the image than their actual depth. When sound waves travel through tissue with a propagation speed faster than 1540 meters per second, it takes less time for the echo to return to the transducer than the ultrasound machine is expecting. This causes echoes to be placed shallower on the ultrasound image than their actual depth in the tissue. On ultrasound, this is most apparent within a silicone implant. If you see the image to the right, the speed of sound in silicone is a thousand meters per second, much slower than the average speed of sound in the tissue, which is 1540 meters per second, resulting in the structures posterior to the implant being placed deeper in the image than their actual depth. As you can see, there's a lot of variation in the speed of sound through different tissues in the body, resulting in multiple opportunities for velocity error artifacts. Our next type of velocity error artifact is known as refraction. Refraction occurs because an ultrasound machine assumes that sound travels in a straight line. However, when a sound wave approaches a boundary at an oblique angle, and when the propagation speeds of the two tissues is different, the sound wave will change direction. This is known as refraction or transmission with a bend to quote Edelman physics. This results in echoes being placed to the side of their true location. This is commonly visualized within a needle tip during a procedure. The needle tip looks like it is bent. 
Refraction requires two things in order to occur, different propagation speeds between the two tissue types and oblique incidence. Edge shadowing is our next type of velocity error artifact on ultrasounds. Edge shadowing occurs due to refraction. When a sound wave encounters the edge of a curved structure, the sound wave refracts. This causes a shadow, known as edge shadowing or critical edge shadowing, to extend down the sides of the curved reflector. This is best visualized when enhancement is present. Enhancement is brightness posterior to a structure. It looks like someone is shining a flashlight down through the structure, and this occurs when there's no attenuation of the sound beam through an area. The edge shadowing will appear like dark lines of shadowing on the edges of the enhancement. Interested in more videos on ultrasound physics? Stop by on Wednesdays where I'll be releasing a new video each Wednesday on artifacts. Six videos in total. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next videos.